Hey y'all, it's your girl J9 Eve, and as you can see here, we've got suspect number one. No, I'm just kidding. We got blue face, and he is suspect number one, but we're gonna watch his little court appearance. But apparently, he is going, you know, in for some charges, possibly of attempted murking. <laughs> they kind of explain in very tiny detail what it's about in this. So we'll watch it together and i want to point out some things that i noticed i didn't get all the way through it i was just watching it randomly and then i was like you know what i saw something weird in the background and i was like ah uh, i'm we'll just do a reaction why not so remember to subscribe and like do that for your girl okay i mean that's that's part of the game baby your other uh, clients in this case so pursuant to negotiations today this is amended to a two-point speeding violation and the case is closed we were sad about him he's such a cute boy he's such a cute boy he got all these tattoos on his face <laughs> and his hair looked like he was well i think they was tussling with him a little bit maybe that's what happened to his hair <laughs> recall all right i asked the recall case from the in custody calendar don't cry baby keep it in okay Jonathan Porter 22 CR 049567 is your true name Jonathan Jamal Porter yes right, Mr. Porter the state has filed a criminal complaint charging you with attempt murder with use of deadly weapon discharging firearm at or into occupied structure or vehicle these are two felony offenses okay so if you caught that apparently it's it was firing into a vehicle so not sure what this is about i thought at first for some reason i thought it might have something to do with christian's daddy remember when he whooped his butt but apparently not <laughs> so i don't know what this is did you receive a copy of that criminal complaint this morning yes i see the counsel here on next step say counsel. yes sir thank you Honor. proceed to vote i'm gonna need for you to say yes sir honey you in the court of law <laughs> you want to be fancy pants okay the name of the game, baby. The name of the game. You want to be, yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. Speak up. We've had the opportunity to see if your client is a client here on the recording. Counsel, I can't hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and take over. Um, we met with Mr. Uh, Porter. He lives in Los Angeles. We asked that usable bail be set. Um, the, uh, uh, obviously, allegations. Um, in this case are of the nature that bail would be set in the ordinary course. So have... I can already hear Krishan talking about some. I'm going to stay by his side. <laughs> I'm going to stand by his side. Oh my God. That that happened. Um, we'd also agree to a no contact with the victim <coughs> in this case. Who is, is the a, victim? It uh, is Wait, who? Wait, they say the victim's name. We to a no contact with the victim <coughs> in this case. It is a uh, contabious trail. Contabious. Shit. That's a crime right there. <laughs> Fucking names their kid Contabious. <laughs> I'm gonna need those parents in the courtroom today. Okay? Explain yourself in this here court of law. Well, let, let me hear the state's position Contabious. on custody status and then I'll hear further representations from defense counsel. And your honor, the state will be requesting bail in the amount of $75,000. Um, the 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 is a moderate risk to okay all right so the thing that i noticed in the courtroom that i want to call y'all's attention to it is guy right here okay got him see him watch him he does some weird stuff and i'm not sure what's going on there and um it looks like he does not really have ties to the community he lives um, in california he also has a bench warrant issue out of Good Springs in case 20M CG006161. He also does have a prior misdemeanor conviction. The instant offense of um, instant charges here are violent in nature. The defendant, um, during the course of an argument, pulls out a gun and shoots at a, uh, a vehicle that is actually driving away. So based upon the nature of the charges in this case, uh, the defendant's lack of ties to this community. Oh, oh, hold up. Let's go back. Explain it some more, Miss Ma'am. 20 M C G 006161. He also does have a prior misdemeanor conviction. The instant offense of um, instant charges here are violent in nature. The defendant, um, during the course of an argument, pulls out a gun and shoots 
at a, uh, a vehicle that's actually driving away. So based upon the nature of the charges in this case, uh, mm. the defendant's lack of ties to this community and his... Uh, Look how Blueface is looking at her like, hey girl, <laughs> watch, look. Like, I'm going to put you in my lineup. <laughs> right, thank you. I, I do see that he's also in custody on a 2020 uh, Good Springs no registration uh, bench warrant pending bench warrant return on next different counts. So, Your Honor, obviously that's a traffic ticket <coughs> and it's a registration offense. So that, that we can deal with. Um, through the Good Springs Court, I, I, I mean, obviously he's entitled to bail on that, right? And uh, I don't necessarily think that the $75,000 bail is, is inappropriate. I think fifty would also be appropriate. He does live in Los Angeles. He's willing to agree that he would only come to Las Vegas for the purposes of resolving these court hearing, this court hearing in this case. So if the court wants to set that condition, that is fine. Um, but otherwise, I, I, I submit to the court, I think 50000 is equally appropriate. Okay, thank you. Um, I, I have to take into uh, consideration a number of factors here. Okay. Um, All right, here's another thing, y'all. We're going to keep into consideration a couple of other factors, the judge says. Now, it's something that the judge is going to say that made my antenna go up. And I don't know if maybe I just haven't been paying attention, but I was unaware of this thing that he's going to say. So let's see if you guys catch it. Um, there does appear to be an indication of employment uh, that was mentioned in, in the arrest, of, in the arrest, uh, the request for an arrest warrant. Um, he was arrested on an outstanding warrant on a, on a much less serious case. He's likely to be released at the age of 25. He appears to have a minimal history, if any. Looks like um, an arrest in 2016 and a, a misdemeanor conviction. It looks like he's got a number of people uh, supporting him in the courtroom today, including I've been told a fiance and, and some friends and, and some uh, business. A fiance? Huh? <laughs> I did not know he had a fiance. It, did, is, did I just miss that? Is everybody going to be like, is everybody watching this just thinking, yeah, duh, he's engaged. How did you not know that? Mean, mean. How did you not know that? But who's he engaged to? <laughs> who's the fiance? Who, who? I mean, last I heard, it couldn't be Krishan. So, so he's engaged. I would assume, I would have to assume it's his baby mama. But somebody let me know. Let me know, honey, because I don't know. Yes, that's perfect. Thank you. Um, I, I am going to set bail in this case based on the nature of the charges. The allegations are quite serious and, and could have been much worse. Uh, 50000 is a reasonable amount of bail. Bail will be set in the amount of 50000 cash assurity. It's likely that Mr. Porter is going to make that bail amount. Upon his release, he is ordered to comply with standard conditions of release. He's ordered to stay away from and have no contact with Cantabia's trailer, the alleged victim of this case. <clears throat> Obviously, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, Mr. Porter, you're advised, and you will be advised in writing, that if you violate that order through any means, including third parties, or any other means uh, that would likely revoke your release or there could be other penalties. Yeah, and then you're going to be right back here in court. So don't go out there trying to play a tough guy. Leave Contavious his, his alone, okay? His life has been hard enough. His name is Contavious. <laughs> we about to look that up, honey. I don't know who Contavious is, but I'm curious. Who is Contavious? Contavious Corpus. Who is that? Let me catch that meme one more time. He's of release. He's ordered to stay away from and have no contact with Contavious Trailer, the alleged victim. Contavious Trailer something? <laughs> key. Contavious Key. Okay. Found him. Okay, so I found Contavious Key. <laughs> well, I found a mugshot. <laughs> I don't know if that's him for sure. It's a special name, so it probably is, but I'm not going to show it because if it's not, you know, that's not very nice. I don't know if y'all heard that, but that was my shoulder cracking. Oh my God. Victim of this case. <clears throat> Obviously, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, Mr. Porter, you're advised, and you will be advised in writing that if you violate that order through any means, including third parties or any other means, uh, that would like that's right no sticking the homeboys on them either you're gonna be right back in here with to, with, with glassy eyes okay likely revoke your release or there could be other penalties 
You must stay out of trouble. That's a condition of anyone's release. Of course, stay in contact with your attorneys and of course, make the necessary court appearances that they advise you to make. If you fail to comply, a warrant for your arrest could issue. You would face extradition back to the state of Nevada from California or wherever else you may be found. Do you understand everything, Mr. Porter? Yes. All right, uh, uh, counsel, based on my ruling here today, how would you like to proceed? Would, so we'll set the matter for set, preliminary hearing. Set in the ordinary course, yes, sir. Okay, thank you. We'll set the matter for preliminary hearing in the ordinary course. January 24th, 930. And can we confirm, Your Honor, the Good Springs, uh, in the traffic matter will not hold him in custody, correct? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think it should. I think I think they have remote appearances for those type of cases at the uh, at the detention center, but hey, look, likely he's going to be released good. on a misdemeanor traffic offense. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Attorney Paul. McNeil, may I recall your cases? Yes. And that is that on that, honey. That is that on that. Yeah, but old Blueface can't seem to get his ish together, honey. Just, it's so crazy. It's like, you, you, you made it. You're famous. You got money. Why the hell are you in court? Like, like, why is this happening? Like, wh why are you there? The only time the law should be involved in your life, it is when you are dead. They're trying to figure out who killed you. Like, like that's it. You are supposed to be above this, okay? What is the point of getting so high if you are not gonna get, if you're not going to get above it, okay? You're supposed to get above it. And the point of all that tweed you be smoking? To get above it, to get high? above it <laughs> no that ain't it oh well that explains that i just thought that was entertaining so uh yeah octavius key apparently i'll be doing some research tonight to figure out what's going on with that guy since the only picture i found was a mugshot pretty sure he ain't he ain't uh he ain't the cleanest plate in the kitchen <laughs> if you feel me okay <laughs> on that i'm gonna bid y'all adieu y'all behave because you already know you already know i'm not gonna do it i just can't Mama love you though.